One of the most controversial and fascinating gadgets at this year's Consumer Electronics Show is this. It's a fitness tracker unlike any other because this claims to be able to measure the amount of calories that your body is digesting. George is the co-founder of the company behind it, he'll be. George, explain before we put you through the motions of eating lots of junk food here, how this is going to work. So, Hilby Gobi has an uh, impedance sensor that measures the water flow inside the cells. How it works? When you eat mixed food, it has protein, carbs and fat. Carbs from the meal convert it to the glucose and glucose goes to the cells. When glucose goes to the cells, water goes out of the cells. So we can measure this flow and by knowing this we can understand what was the amount of carbs in the meal. Okay, so we're going to put this to the test and we're going to see a readout. It's going to communicate with your smartphone and in about 10 or 15 minutes we'll have some indication, but it's going to take about two hours for a full readout to occur. So let's, let's put this thing to the test. Okay, let's okay. Okay, so George, you just had your uh, food, but as I said before, it has been hugely controversial, this product, because it's making some amazingly extravagant claims about how it can measure the amount of calories consumed, which a lot of people in the medical community have rubbished, and, and some people are calling it a scam. They're saying, actually, this product simply cannot work in the way that you're marketing it. What would you say to that? Uh, when we work with uh, medical institutions in Russia, First time we, we come, the, come to their places, uh, they say, no, it, it cannot be so. But when we start working with them, they say, wow, it's possible. And we work like with several medical institutions there who helped us to build uh, all proper technology and to help us with the tests. Okay, well, interesting rebuttal there, George. Let's see how accurate the device is when George's body has fully digested the food in two hours' time. Okay, so two hours later, the results are in, and it looks like your app has underestimated it slightly. Yes, what it, kind of level of accuracy are you expecting from this? Uh, the level of accuracy, we're expecting like 85% accuracy. Right now, the figure that we have, uh, it's within this corridor. Presumably, it's going to vary according to the kind of person that's taking the food as well. Not everyone's built equally. And we are working on the accuracy that our device would suit for different kinds of people, for elderly people, for like, sporty people and for the kids. OK, well, this wasn't the most uh, rigorous of scientific tests, but possibly enough to silence some of the product's critics, if not all.